Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna talk about some fragrances that basically I couldn't escape them, okay? They are everywhere, everyone is talking about them, everyone is saying how amazing they are. I'm talking about popular Middle Eastern fragrances. Uh, they're affordable, people are saying that they smell great, some of them are duped for designers or niche, which yes, in in the past, we would see lots of these, lots of dupes for designers, but not that many for niche. Or the ones that were for niche were not that great, let's just say. I've got in here, how many do I have? Like seven fr fragrances. Most of them are extremely, extremely, extremely popular. Others, I just like the notes online or just the name. And I was like, let me buy it. It's 20 pounds. How bad can it be? Uh, I have some that I don't particularly like. But I do have some that are, I'm just like, how, just how can you be that good? How can you be that good for the price? Honestly, I'm shocked. Like, I don't like everything. I don't love everything. But the ones that I love, like, I love. And some of them, like I said, remind me of niche. I do have the niche bottles. I do have the niche version, the original. And they smell the same or even better. So I have mixed feelings, okay? Because yes, I'm a niche snob. I will admit that, okay? I love my niche fragrances. I just, I love everything about them. And then you're giving me a 20, 30 pounds, 100 ml bottle. That's not the same. Maybe even better. So yeah, uh, I've been influenced. Some of them actually I got them because some other people were like raving about them. So I said, okay, fine. Let me, let me, let me try them. Let me try them. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget, obviously, to give it a big thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and now, let's jump in. Right, should I start with the ones that I don't particularly like? Let's do that. The first one, uh, this was, is actually popular for the past, like, two years, I would say. I'm talking about, I'm gonna butcher the names, I'm really sorry. Uh, Dirham Wardi. I'm not sure if W is wardi or wardi i think it's wardi let me know in the comments uh this bottle i think i paid this is a packaging this is a bottle i think i paid for like 16 pounds something like that so i said let me just try it this comes with like a dingling thing that it was absolutely horrible so i completely i removed it immediately first spray i really really liked it okay the best spray is in here Yes, like this online, I had a look on Fragrantica and people are saying that some people adored it. Like it's a creamy, creamy, clean rose type of scent. Like imagine like um, scented rose, like soap bar. It's soapy, it's clean, it's rosy. It's like a pink rose. I really like the opening. I really, really like the opening. In the dry down though, like more like from the like mid till the dry down it kind of smells like a bar soap just just like a bar soap it was something going on that i didn't like it was too soapy for me it was like opening is beautiful opening the rose is quite sweet you know it's not too sweet but it's quite sweet it's delicate it's a bit soapy it's creamy in the same time but as soon as you hit that dry down mm, 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 i'm not a fan again it's just me because I, I particularly don't like soapy perfumes. I don't necessarily, like, especially like rose soap. And it, when it's too much soap. I think I have my collection maybe one or two fragrances that are a bit soapy. Um, but I don't particularly like this style of fragrance. If you are into that though, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one. It's like, I don't know, 16 pounds, something like that. Um, but yeah, it was not for me. Let's just say that. Next uh next no i don't think these two in particular are popular but i just saw the names i saw the notes they were affordable so i was like let me try them the first one is not that i don't like it actually i really like it is this bottle in here and it's called lani pandora uh and it's from pandora scents silly me okay just look at lani look at the bottle look at the like flower in here didn't realize that this is like a dupe for La Nuit Resol from Lancome which I don't have anymore I used to love that one but I love way much more a la folie and then they came out with the 
the le parfum or the intense i can't remember which one the intense the cherry one that's quite similar to ala folly because ala folly got discontinued in my opinion that one was the best this smells like kind of like a mixture between la nuit trezor and la nuit trezor ala folly it's very close like immediately immediately when i sprayed it, i was like this is la nuit trezor from lancome and then i looked at the bottle and i looked at the name i was like of course it is of course it is i saw praline i saw vanilla so i was like mm, intrigued and then i got the boss i was like it's a dupe what why I didn't realize that before it's so it's so freaking obvious i do really like it but i do have two la nuit trezor the a la folie which is discontinued and then the intense version so i definitely don't need this one but if you don't want to spend the money because designers are expensive nowadays okay if you don't want to spend money on the original 100% get this one because it's strong and it smells the same it literally smells the same maybe not 100% the same as the original but it's kind of there in between the original and the a la folie version and it's powerful and it's it's good it doesn't smell um cheap it doesn't have like an it doesn't have that like alcohol opening it doesn't have any of that it literally smells like a fragrance from lancome so highly recommend this one if you if you want la nuit trezor or la nuit trezor a la folie uh, but you don't want to spend that much money on designers get this one literally it's almost the same the next one like i said probably will not keep it uh not gonna sell it like it's 20 pounds already with free shipping probably i'm just gonna give it to a friend uh the next one i kind of really like the bottle in a way and the packaging like i really like the packaging look at this packaging for 20 or how much i paid for this this is nice pa nice packaging okay let's open it and the bottle is quite cool because the juice is literally like a mint green blue how do you call this color i think it's a mint green i kind of like it's very weird like the juice is weird it looks like you know those um drinks like korean drinks like melon milk and banana milk and strawberry milk it looks like that it literally looks like that like i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with the melon milk anyway doesn't matter this one is called cotton candy mask by ard al the name is ard al i cannot read that it's like cursi no uh itra 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 dubai okay i don't know what it says at the bottom but it's itra dubai uh i saw cotton candy i kind of miss the mask in the name uh so that's why i bought it i was like cotton candy yes it's mask it's mask with some sort of cotton candy thrown in there but it's a type of mask i don't particularly like I mean, it's not bad. It's a sweet. It's a sweet mask with something quite like a sweetness that is quite artificial, if you ask me. I'm not necessarily a fan. I don't say I'm not saying it's bad. Like I, it's just mask. It's a type of mask I don't like. I don't like ninety percent of the nice mask fragrances. So that's just me, okay. I like the bottle though. I like the packaging. Again, this one is going to like. A colleague a friend i know i'm gonna see now moving on to the ones i actually like okay the first one i don't love it and it's a new release and people are going crazy okay with this fragrance i'm talking about let me close it teriyak from latafa this is the packaging i don't quite understand why the actual box is plastic like why just why i don't i don't quite understand that but anyway and then that's the bottle okay we know these brands are not creating the most beautiful bottles i don't like this one in particular either uh, but yeah i've seen people comparing this one it's created by a very 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 massive perfumer if you don't know what i'm talking about are you even watching youtube come on literally this is the only reason why i bought it and then after i bought it this was not that inexpensive i think i paid like 40 45 pounds because obviously you attach a master perfumer a very very well-known master perfumer name to this fragrance 
it's a new release so it was not 20 pounds it was around 45. i saw people on fragrantica literally arguing and just having like a full-on fight if this one smells like label from jean paul gaultier or if it doesn't for me as soon as i spray that i'm getting label it doesn't smell exactly the same i don't have the original label anymore i do have the le parfum version because i much more prefer the le parfum but it gives me label like a lot and i was expecting i don't know something different again people are saying that it smells exactly like lab like label from jean paul gaultier others are saying no it doesn't smell at all normally to be honest when i see people comparing new fragrances new releases with very popular ones especially when it comes to the lina um baccarat rouge literally for some people everything smells like baccarat rouge even my fragrance chocolate queen was compared to baccarat rouge I found, a I found a comment on Fragrantic. I'm not sure if it's still there, but it was compared to Baccarat Rouge. How? How? Like, usually when I say, I'm like, okay, fine. fair enough for you, everything smells like the Lina and Baccarat Rouge. So I thought the same with this fragrance. I thought I'll just people that just like to compare everything. But for the first time, it actually smells like Label. So I'm going to be in the Label category. Now that it smells completely different. I don't have it with me. I don't have Label. I have the X-ray, but it's not the same thing. It really reminds me, like, from what I remember, it really reminds me of La Belle. To be fair, it's a very, very, very strong fragrance, okay? Like, I was testing all of them, and this one was just, like, it was there, okay? I could smell it. Nothing that smells bad by any means. I really like La Belle, but I just prefer La Belle La Parfum, and I don't need a copy of La Belle at the moment. They're not exactly the same. I can't remember exactly how Label smells like, you know. I mean, it's very, it's, it's good. Label is a very good fragrance, but I don't need another one. I, I just, I thought, I, I was hoping it's going to be something else. Because, because I do have other fragrances from Latafa in here that I fell in love. And they're coming right now, okay? So, uh, what's the name of this one? Teriak from Latafa. For me, it smells like Label, okay? Don't throw stones, don't do anything like that. But for me, it smells like Labelle. Now, should we move on to the ones I absolutely love and adore? Yes, let's do that. Uh, we have... Where is the box? Do I have the box? I have the box over there. Anyway, it has a box, okay? This one is... Ajayeb Dubai. Made from Bailatafa. Again, Latafa again. Uh, I saw Paulina talking about this fragrance. Actually, we were talking a few days ago and she was like, you need to get that one. I was like, I already got it. I already got it. I already got influence, okay? Uh, she, I think she's the one. Yeah, I, you know what? Funny story. She, I know that she was posting lots of videos with Middle Eastern fragrances. I was like, not my thing, not my thing, not my thing. And then I was at Exans actually. It was during the night, it was like 1 in the morning, I couldn't sleep next day, it was the second day of exams. And I was like, let me just watch some YouTube. So literally, me and her, we went out that night, and then I was watching her videos. And then she kept talking about some particular fragrances, I was like, let me just buy them. So everything that you've seen here, I bought during exams, like at 1 in the morning. Because Paulina, I was watching her videos, even though I had her with me like a few hours before. It makes no sense, I know. This is a mango scent that is delicious. Okay, you know that I'm obsessed at the moment with mango perfumes. Immediately, it reminded me of God of Fire. But I'm not really sure if it's actually God of Fire or Soleil de Jeta. So let's try it now because I didn't compare them. Mm, it's not really God of Fire. It might be actually Soleil de Jeta mango kiss mango skin mango kiss is mango kiss let me spray this one as well yeah it's more this one mm -hmm. it's not god of fire it's solid jedi mango kiss i'm trying to right that's got mm, it's kind of it's kind of in the middle if you ask me, it's kind of in the middle. 
like it has a freshness from both of them but then Soleil de Jeda almost has something green and this one doesn't have it but Soleil de Jeda has more mango than God of Fire and this one has more mango it's kind of a mix of them let me spray it again yeah opening opening maybe more God of Fire but then it's a mix it's a mixture but it's good it's really good yes i would say this one with more mango or this one less green basically it's good it's really 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 good now when i went on amazon i saw her bottle was white and then in the picture um the amazon picture the bottle was black so i was like it's not the same fragrance it's not that I was looking at the name, I was looking at the notes, I was looking everywhere. I was like, it's not the, it is the same fragrance. For some reason in the picture, the bottle is black. It's white actually, okay? So don't get as confused as me. It's good. It's it's a mango, realistic mango. It's juicy, but it's not like too sweet or anything like that. It has a freshness for sure. Mm, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful in the summertime. It's mango, it's fresh. Um, it's juicy, it's powerful as well. Um, I like it. I don't like the bottle though. Like, what is this bottle? Like, just, just why? Just why? I do not understand. Anyway, but the scent is very good. Like, if you're looking just for a mango scent, okay, that one is good. For me, like mango skin from Wilhelm, maybe it reminds me of that as well. Maybe this one is just slightly fresher than that one, but that one was like too plain for me to spend that much money on you know uh moving on i'm obsessed i think she talked about this one as well i'm obsessed with this one this one is pistachio Chai Chair. i think this is how it's k h it's Chair. i think so uh pistachio from paris corner this is the bottle this is the box good 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 like the name suggests i was hoping it's gonna be pistachio so it's not gonna be like the cotton candy where you just mask it is pistachio it is mm, it's pistachio ice cream is delicious and obviously it reminds me of yam pistachio gelato from keali you can see i didn't really touch this bottle the juice got actually darker as well This one is a bit more soapy. It's good, this one as well. I feel like it got sweeter from last time when I tested it. But also, you can see that the juice got darker. Oh, they're that, very similar. They're very similar. This one just has maybe some citruses in there. It's a bit, again, fresher. It's a bit more like tart. It almost has like something a little bit tart. Where Keali, it's a bit has some like flowers yes keali has some like flowers in there still pistachio is the main note but this one goes more into like a flower direction this one goes in more into like a almost like fruity tart direction oh i love it and this is very strong again like this is very strong if i have to choose between the two of them this one wins in terms of scent i prefer this one they're very similar but just you know those small details i prefer this one the price obviously i prefer this one and it's just more like powerful it's just more out there it's it does project it does last on the skin where this one is nicely just a skin scent but it's not definitely definitely not as strong as um this one so yeah i would get it honestly or get it for the, for the summertime if you're looking for a pistachio an affordable pistachio for the summertime spring summer it's gonna be perfect i don't mind this bottle actually I quite like the bottle i don't mind it compared to this thing i quite like this bottle okay you're fine you're fine we can display you obviously i'm displaying all of them but you're gonna stay at the front because the other ones no i like it i really like it and now you're ready the best of the best i urge absolutely everyone to go and buy it i don't necessarily do that but from la tafa again Cambra uh, Cajua. I do have the original Cambra. 
and I love this one. Okay, I particularly don't like angel share. I do not have angel share. Um, and this one was compared. I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. Bought it. For me, it smells better. It just smells better than angel share, and that's me. Okay, the snob, the the niche snob in me. It says that that one smells better. It has the dates. It's sweeter. It's denser. It's mm, it's good. It's good. It's obviously the cinnamon. It's it doesn't have any booze and definitely feels less doesn't feel boozy as angel share but yeah it's good but when i thought that that one is good i saw again people on fragrantica some of them saying it's too much it's too sweet i was like mm, nothing is too sweet for me so i'm definitely gonna like it um and some people just adore it for me it's the best of the best of the best i think it's one of the best fragrances that i've smelled so far and they came back from like where i smell like a thousand fragrances okay it's like in the top 10 fragrances that i smelled in 2024 so far just this one doesn't have the dates i don't really understand how and why because i can smell the dates it has some cardamom it's like a sweet cardamom and it's barely there if you ask me And this one, it has some coffee. You can smell the coffee. For some reason, I'm getting some apple as well. It doesn't have any apple. But I'm getting this like cinnamon apple. Well, the original is like cinnamon dates. Sweet, sticky dates. But this one is more like a cinnamon apple with a bit of cardamom, with coffee. And then vanilla and other things. It's good. It's not for spring and summer for sure, okay? But me living in Manchester is going to be perfect because right now it's raining again. And I know, I, we, we don't even look at like how cold it's outside, like degrees is, because it's, it's, it's literally the same. You need a jumper, or not necessarily a jumper, you need like a long sleeve, you need a coat. Sometimes you need a scarf as well. Like we can't go out there just in a t-shirt. So this one is going to be perfect. For my weather, perfect. Oh, it's it's good, good, good. Do you need both? I love both of them. For me, they definitely share a similar DNA. I don't like the both of it, so like... I don't particularly... I'm not like crazy about the, like, the Killian bottle either. But this one, I really don't like the bottles. Yeah, I don't like the bottles. Um, but the, the scent the scent inside it's it's amazing it's for me they don't smell like killian angel share and that's a good thing okay that's a good thing because i don't particularly like the scent like i'm okay with it like yeah it's nice but i'm not like oh i need that in my life no but these two they're good especially the new one it's just it's sweeter somehow but nicely just sweeter it's like denser thicker than darker almost with that coffee than the original camera i love it I love it. I love both of them. So yeah, I am impressed. Obviously, I had a few that didn't really work for me. Actually, just two. I didn't like two of them. Then the other two, for me, they smell like dupes of Label, which I don't need. And then Lanny Trezor, which I don't need either. But then the other, how many? One, two, three. This one, this one, and this one. Even though those two... This one smells similar to the Keali. I prefer it over the Keali. This one doesn't smell exactly like any of the ones I've mentioned. It's kind of like a mix of them. And I love it as well. But this doesn't smell like anything that I have. Like, it doesn't particularly remind me of anything that I have. So, for me, this is the winner for sure. But yeah, let me know. Let me know if you want me to buy more. Buy more affordable Middle Eastern fragrances. Uh, because I was impressed, like, okay, I bought seven. I'm not going to keep everything, but the three that I have, I really, 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 really like them. I'm going to try to sell the new one from Latafa because that one was the most expensive. And the one I bought, like, separately. All of the other ones, six, I think I paid in total £150 for everything. I'm leaving three, I'm keeping three. 150 i'm not mad because i absolutely love this one and if this was a niche fragrance and they would charge me 200 not for this bottle though um they would charge um like 200 pounds i would buy it like i would buy it with these ones i would probably buy them as well if they were like around 100 just because i already have something that's quite similar but if i didn't have i would still buy them so 
yeah they're good just conclusion they're good these three are very good go and try them um you can't really try them just i know with some friends get some bottles together and then you can decan them like travel sizes whatever and you can like share a bottle um because you can't really resell them like if you're buying them for 20 pounds for how much you can, can you resell them do you know what i mean it's for me it's like a waste of time i'll just like give them to someone uh but yeah that was it for today let me know let me know if you want me to test not test buy more uh middle eastern fragrances affordable ones and that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you guys in my next one Bye bye